Hi everyone, it's Shane from Hanlon's for another Maintenance Monday. We're going to continue on with the operational series in the Fent 1100 series track tractors. So in order to adjust the hydraulically controlled drawbar on a track tractor, the first thing you have to do is you unlock your hydraulics, then you go up and you touch your hitch icon. Um, of course, it's locked right now because the tractor isn't running, um, but normally you would see no X on there. Um, then what you do is you go down here and we're going to select, so we just touch it, and then we can use the we can use the dial on the side to adjust our range of travel for our drawbar. Um, a good place to start is at 50%. Um, and then the other thing that we have to do is we adjust how much cushion there is. And a good place to start there is 50%. Um, and then what you wanna do is you wanna put it onto automatic and go and make a turn and watch how your draw bar moves. Um, you wanna turn and see that your hitch, your hitch from your implement isn't getting too close, that it's contacting the tracks. And then the other thing you want to do is you wanna see how aggressively it's moving. So um, if, if we're allowed to move some more, um, then what we do is we adjust that percentage to a larger percentage allows the drawbar to swing farther. Um, if the if the implement is is slamming around on the drawbar, then you're going to want to increase the amount of resistance. Um, so it's basically you're just adjusting the the hydraulic free flow here. Um, so the higher the number, the more resistance there is. So if the drawbar wasn't moving at all because your implement is light, then you're going to roll that down below that 50% start point um, and adjust. It, it takes a few passes till you get it to exactly where you want it. If it's one of those situations where you just want the thing centered and you wanna have the ability to move it um, for some reason, then you flip it into manual mode and then you're gonna use your two manual switches to, to move it back and forth. So basically you just push the button and then it will move the, the drawbar manually side to side. Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for watching.